This is the story of a girl and a boy who fell in love in the 80s and drove their rusty old car up to northern Norway, made a baby, and another one, and another one, and another one. This one fell in love with the mountains and just a few weeks ago found himself amidst them. Yep, that's neat, but this isn't how my season started out. I know you're on a road. We are back. First trip of the season. Snow is finally here. Most years we go to this one zone where you pretty much always score. But now we wanted to mix it up with some adventure time. So we're gonna go ski Vagas. Which is pretty much like one of the most remote peaks in Lingen, like the furthest from the road. So we're right here now. We're gonna hike in 10 kilometers by the fjord. And there's a few river crossings where we heard the bridges might be broken. And then we have the cabin where we'll sleep tomorrow night. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna start from the cabin and then climb up to the glacier, which starts at like 600 and then climb the Kolars up to 1300. And the whole crew is here. We're back. Beautiful. Oh, you're so pretty. Yeah. Looks good in there. And it's snow from last year, huh? Yeah. In the couloir. Yeah. So it's a base. Yeah, we have a base. Hmm. Oh. oh my God. How's that back? Heavy. Cabin boys. Okay, let's go. 10Ks left. Still got dry feet. Morale is high. So, 30 years ago when my parents moved up here, you could pretty much ski straight from the road all year because you had snow that wouldn't melt over the summer. But now because of global warming, we have to climb, you know, five, six, seven, 800 meters to get to perennial snow. So this season we're fueling our skiing 100% on hydroelectricity, which is sustainable in the sense that we can do it forever without melting all the snow. And it's super cheap. I'm paying like four kroner or 50 cent per 100 kilometer that I drive in this used electric car that I just got. All the range to go skiing and zero emissions. To be, you know, mindful of the snow. That's the left couloir and the right couloir. Pretty far. But I think they look cool and it's kind of spooky with that little cloud on top yeah, of it. Yeah, but imagine tomorrow. Yeah. We made it! Yeah. That was the last river. No. no? There's another river? This is the easy river we crossed. That was the easy river? Yeah. The big river is coming. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all the words to the big river. And the bridge is gone. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you want to just try to go a bit higher and see yeah, if there's... Just, let's just follow the river and see where we can cross, huh? Yeah. Ah, it looks better up there, huh? Yeah. I wonder if these are really slippery, huh? Oh my lord. Oh, it's deep. Is that one slippery too? Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna find somewhere else. Shit, it's really deep everywhere. The rocks are really slippery. I don't know where to go. Oh, he's trying to get the branch. Oh no, Nico, oh no. Oh. Okay, I got the tree, <laughs> I got the tree. Okay. He got it. <laughs> Good work. How wet are you? Really? Okay, let's get inside and get warm. There it is. There it is. Wow, this is super cozy. Welcome to Vagas Hitta, it says. Thank you. And there they are. Yeah, there they are. I bet they did not fall in the river. Ah. Uh, it was nice getting out the backpack. Did you get a look at the oh. cool art? Yeah, yeah, I think they're <laughs> really steep. First trip for the season feels good. So the guys are in there cooking and I just thought this season it'd be cool to do something about that other problem in skiing, you know, along with global warming. Um, I think it's kind of awkward, you know, how privileged we are. 
and inequality is rising, just like temperatures are. You know, rising inequality since the 1980s. And Today, wealth inequality is still very large, with 60, 70 percent of total wealth for the top 10. So he's telling us that we are on the road not just to a highly unequal society, but to uh, an oligarchy, a society of inherited wealth. And that's kind of awkward. So, you know, we're just gears, can't really deal with the real solution to the problem. The answer is very simple. Start talking about taxes, mm -hmm. taxes, taxes. So you'll have like a big global corporation like Google that owns YouTube that you're watching this very video on, pay almost nothing in taxes and it's completely legal. Here's a video explaining the whole scheme. Well, Trump actually did away with the need to hide your wealth here in Bermuda. But the point is that it's completely legal to not contribute substantially to society. So I figured the cool thing now is like, I'll build a model for this project where um, everyone involved gets paid, you know, like a general like a regular salary but then if this project scales and is successful like we see like tech giants and a lot of big corporations are instead of all those profits from the scaling process going to the hands of the few like they're going now we'll just kind of send it back to you know people who have less than us just stop talking about philanthropy yeah i know but i think it'll be cool because now we have three goals you know we have writing all the best lines Doing it in a way that doesn't melt the snow and also doing it with a business model that is considerate of not just ourselves. Guten Morgen, Christa. Guten Morgen. Hi. Good morning. Let's see if there's some snow up there. Wow, it's crazy being back at it. Walking towards the couloir, it just gets bigger and bigger. The one on the right side looks, uh, woo. They look big and scary. Oh, that feels good. Feels good to be back on snow. The ice patch there doesn't look too promising. Seems like there's been a lot of wind. Mm -hmm. It was blowing quite a lot yesterday. I feel like the mood just dropped. So the snow is like on and off good and bad here. But uh, it's rideable for sure. Kristen and Eric are doing the, the right one. Me and Eric are doing the left one. The one with the hanging ice that can fall on you, but it's pretty small and I think I can kind of dodge it by staying like on one side of the couloir. Okay, Eric. Perfect boot packing snow. You know what that means? No. It's hard. Ah, it's way steeper yeah, up there. Yeah, it's way steeper up there. Ice axe conditions. I don't know. Here comes more stuff. Ah, what do you think, Eric? It's no problem getting down here. Yeah, I know. Oh, a little bit ice underneath. Yeah, I think I want to have my ice axe out. Hey, how are you guys doing over there? I think we might beat you after to the top. Yeah, that might be. We just took out both the uh, ice axes and traversing on some uh, ice. Cool bananas. Okay, hopefully it's not as icy further up, I guess. But yeah, just keep us posted on what you do. We're at 1100, so like 200 to go, it says, but it doesn't look that far. It's right there. I think we're home free for this wreck. Yeah, we are. We're live. Wow. Good work. First peak of the season. October 18th. October 18th, yeah. Maybe their color is easier. Yeah, this is pretty steep. It's a long way to go home. Oh, looks like our timing with the weather is just perfect to get the shit. Oh my god. Wow. Crawling to the top. Ah, good work. Give me that. Ah. Boom. Boom. Okay, so he's gonna drop down here. This top section here is pretty steep. I hope this sun kind of pops through, clears. I'm fine. He's done. Yeah, Rick, doing good. Oh, shit.
I'm down pretty much 100%. Ready for the next guys. Ooh. First turns of the season. Whoop! Woo! Woo boy! It was at this moment that I knew. Oh, shit. I was losing the drone. And with it, my one chance of showing you guys what it was really like up there. Come on, baby. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, shit, shit. My phone just died. Hopefully, I'll just able to land it. That was the one perspective that really showed how well Krister was navigating these steeps. And especially Eric, Boys. who forgot to turn on his GoPro. We hiked for two days to get here. I did not want to lose the drone. God damn it! Fuck! Oh, fuck! God damn it! Oh shit. I just lost the drone, I think. Halvete. I'm f cold. The drone is dead. Hopefully I can find it. It's foggy. I'm super cold. I've had better times in the month. Do you think there's any chance of finding the drone? No, I think it's uh, on the other side. Damn it, that sucks. At least the fog cleared a little bit for my run here. Oh. Shit, my legs are dead. No way. That's gnarly. Good work, boys. I feel sad for the drone. Yeah. Seems to me I don't even know what to say about that. I'm tired. Yeah. 10 kilometers to hike out and it's been dark, so. We go make it home to a girlfriend. My body hurts. Oh. <sighs> okay, finally there. Oh my god. Give it in. Oh, okay, big day. Well, winter is on. Oh, I'm out with uh, with the ladies. Fine, fine, ladies. Fine. <laughs> if it's good, uh, you feel the flow, just go all the way to the bottom. Okay, copy that. Have fun with it. <laughs> now the season's on, that felt good. I needed that. I needed that really bad. Okay, it's really, 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 really good. Have fun with it. Too stop! <laughs> That was so much fun. That was so good. Now we're in the groove again. And we're actually up to $1,300. We're getting somewhere. See you next time. Next time, as in the next episode of the show, where I'll get into where we're sending that cash and why we're doing it. I just don't think we should all like expose ourselves at the same time. So while Finn is exposing himself, I figured I'd tell you guys about who we're giving all this money from Google to. It's pretty like Alpine here. It's the Lingen Alps. It's not the Lingen Hills. Yeah, David. Oh shit. Going real fast. He's doing this for you, YouTube. <laughs>